Hey guys, I would like to show you how I'm going to make my shoes as I have a few people ask me how I'm doing so I decided to do a little tutorial about the shoes and hopefully you're gonna enjoy it you have to be with me because there is lots of noises all around uh, as it's nice weather today that's why I'm trying to make the tutorial <laughs> but all of the people are outside they making lots of noises so you have to forgive me that so uh, everything you're gonna need for the shoes to make is obviously the shoes I got myself like a cheap shoes and bits and bobs that I'm gonna try to take it off because I don't need that and they've been glue so I can easily take this off everything is going to be covered so we don't need to I should prepare that earlier so you take all of the parts that you don't like it and obviously you need to take off the, the shoelaces and this is how you prepare your shoes nothing else uh, you put on then we are going to need the acrylic paint so I've got different brands I never use that one so I will try new color uh, I did use the other two for you know different uh, for the shoes that I've made and I posted the, the um, picture sorry <laughs> I'm losing my English today and obviously you're gonna need some ink for the stamps so I use the stays on because whatever you do the stays on is not gonna do anything uh, you can use obviously archival ink by ranger doesn't matter one of the other one above will work um what else obviously you're gonna need some stamps whatever stamps you like whatever stamps will be good for you i've got quite a few i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet obviously you're gonna need some plates or something that you can put the paint on uh, for applying the paint i'm using just a washing sponge i'm gonna take this off and then i will cut this in pieces so that will be ready for my free paint because we need three different pieces for different paint and one more thing that i didn't take it out is the stencils doesn't matter what kind of stencils whatever you will like it whatever you can think of i might use that one they are not um they not <laughs> looking too good i might use the bricks obviously i put a little bit of um uh, repositional glue so you can just stick it on it it will be a bit more hard uh, it will be a bit hard to to put them on uh, the stencils but the maybe that one but the most important is the last effect uh, we are going to have so we can just put a little bit on maybe some bubbles whatever you've got in your stash use whatever you've got it don't have to be anything perfect so stay with me and i hope you can see anything maybe i will stood because that will make my life a little bit more easy okay so i don't need obviously this because that will be on my way is it for you for someone else if it's for someone else and you want to keep the tags just keep it I don't want to keep them because they are just on my way and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them so we're taking the shoelaces off they are quite easy to do obviously I'm not um, I'm not um, sealing them with anything but of course if you want to you can do it it's no problem you can use mod porch because um, i've been doing shoes before i did try them i've been using the just acrylic paints and they've been fine i've been walking in the rain nothing happens so 
but obviously it probably depend um what kind of um paint you're using if you're gonna use i know acrylics are staying on so that's for sure so you have to try it obviously i don't want this to be shown on my uh, shoes so i will just take it off come on i don't want to put my head in the camera sorry if i did because i'm not sure i can see it so you take this off it's quite easy and no one will see you won't be able to see the the threads even the holes or anything from the front so you take this off and then I meet you over there when I prepare everything. Okay, my shoes are ready to go. So obviously I'm going to show you the first step on the first shoe. And then we will go uh, doing the same thing. It don't have to be exactly the same. It have to be only um, similar because obviously they won't be exact same shoes both of them obviously you're gonna use the same colors the same stencils the same um stamps and all sorts of things but they don't have to be the same place they can be all over the place just they need to look similar this is what you want you don't want to have uh, totally two different shoes because obviously <laughs> that's not gonna look well for some people it might look good you know some people like to be having two different shoes, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, yes. So this is what I do. Yeah. I took off the sharp part because we don't need that sharp part. And obviously, we're going to try it. So, little bit of paint. So we're starting from the lightest color. So I have uh, almond, little bit of paint, yeah, sealed inside, it's new because I ran out when I was doing the first shoes, actually they are not the first, I've done quite a few, you can decoupage, you can use the napkins, you can use whatever you like. And obviously, if you use napkins, you use Mod Podge already, so you're sealing everything straight away without any problems. Oh, come on. Yes, I put that thing back, which I don't need. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna put this way. So you just tap in the sponge, don't fill it too much, you can always refill. I'm gonna move that. And what I do, I just put the paint in different places, stronger, lighter. I don't mind if things are covered. Uh, in paint, you know this gummy stuff yeah so this is what you do you just put the paint around in different places Just a quick, don't have to be perfect, we don't want to see them perfect, they have to be just, so that's the first color, so this is how the first look, color look like on the shoes, if you want to have more, you just add more, if you want to have less, you just put less, okay, so now we are going to do the second color 
So it's exactly the same, yeah? I mix the paint. I put my finger into it already. So I have to be very careful <laughs> because I will have the shoes inside and outside. Exactly the same thing, yeah? I put a little bit on the sponge. And then I put on the shoes. Yeah, if you don't want to have this paint all around uh, this this part, then if that's wet, you can still use the wet wipes and you can wipe it off. So exactly the same thing, yeah. I just put in pl different places. If you want to have, you can use different colors whatever you've got in your stash you can you can even color the old shoes they will be good to make them new so i'm gonna put a little bit more over here nothing complicated just paint around yeah so that's my second color this is how they look like. Obviously, I put it a little bit of paint over here. I don't mind. But, sorry for the noise. I'm gonna grab a wet wipe. And then while the paint is still wet, you can still take it off. Yeah. From there. It will stay on if it's dry. It will be complicated to take it off. And exactly the same thing you do with the third color. So do the third color and then I meet you over there. Okay, so I did the third color already. It depends, you know, how vibrant you want the color to be, yeah? Because that's obviously, that's the beginning. So the end result will be much, much different to whatever is happening now, yeah? So the fun part will start soon. So obviously you have to be careful if you color your hands and you don't want to have your shoes inside, uh, colored inside, then you have to just wipe it off and then see what's gonna happen. So, we've using all of them three colors. That's why I put it a little bit more on the plate, yeah, because we don't need much of the paint. So by using this, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take the, the stencils and I'm gonna put on the shoe, yeah? So I'm gonna start with the lightest color. So it don't have to be perfect. Everything will be changed uh, during whatever you're doing so this is how it looks like you can't really see it so choose whatever stencil you like but obviously if I'm gonna put on this blue one it will be a little bit more visible yeah so Start with the lighter one and then keep going with different kind of stencils. You can use one, you can use few if you like and add from the uh, lightest one to the darkest one. So it's exactly the same way like we've been putting the colors from the beginning. So I have almonds, then I have coral rose and then I have... No idea what's the name of this color. Kind of like bluish turquoise. So this is this is how how you do. Don't worry if it's not even. Don't worry if it's not perfect. The end result will be cool. So keep going, and then I meet you after I use them three colors. Okay, so I did use the, the first color. And the first stencil, which you can see on some parts, you can see uh, the bricks pattern like over here and over there. Yeah, so I go all around and I put in few different places, wherever I feel like, you know. And then we're gonna use the middle color with different stencil. Okay, so I've done the bubbly stencil 
and this is how the, they look like yeah so i use the middle color and because the fabric is quite flexible you can just you know hold it and then put the stencil and it's not very difficult and obviously nothing has to be even yeah so as more craziness you do more fun better your shoes will look like so now i'm grabbing the third color or even you can use that color still and grab different stencil i'm gonna grab different stencil and the third color okay so this is how my shoes look like after the third color and what i'm thinking about i'm missing a little bit they are a bit too blue bluish turquoise for me so what i'm gonna do I, I will take a little bit of the lighter one and i will use one more more stencil and then i meet you over there okay I'm quite happy how they look like so obviously they will roughly be this kind of colors yeah because obviously we are going to I'm going to use the uh, black color of ink so everything will be even a bit more the colors will be a bit more vibrant once you're gonna add the black so now what you have to do I'm gonna move that, that paint I will wash quickly my hands and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got lots of stamps over here. It's exactly depend on you what kind of stamps you've got. There's stamps that I never used and I'm gonna give it a go. So you can use um, archival ink is waterproof. So maybe I'm gonna use archival this time. Well, I don't mind. Whatever. So obviously I have the silicone ones. Uh, so they will be a bit more easy to press. They they don't have to be perfect, like you know, uh, like I've done the other one. It was everything was um, just roughly nothing perfect at all. So I just put the stamps on. See, this is what I've got. This is the results of it. So I just put. It's exactly the same like you build in. Um, like you build in um, the background for your mix media project it's exactly the same thing you can then you can put whatever you like you can put some decorate decorative stuff over you can do whatever you like so I've got a little bit of that stamp yeah and I put this in different places I can put that on here Yeah, so nothing has to be perfect. It's just use your imagination, stamp all over your shoes, and I'm sure the result will be cool. Okay, stamp whatever you like on your shoes, and then I will see you over there. Okay, so I did use the second stamp. I'm going to show you a little bit. Tip into the uh, 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 ink. And then stamp it on your shoes. Nothing has to be perfect. Just do whatever, however you feel. And this is how you carry on adding more stamps. I have very nice stamps from 7 Dot Studio. And I did use them only once. So there is a secret memories. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Boo. This is how the stamp looks like, yeah, the stamps. There is four of them plus a uh, little sentence. I'm going to use some of them as well. I did find like a floral thing, like a swirls and stuff. Stamp. I'm going to use it. So I'm going to hold it only on the end and just put a little bit of ink. And then I put the stamp on. You can see it. Yeah. So in some places. Yeah. Then I obviously clean my stamp and I put it back together. And what else I'm going to use? I've got something like this over here. Maybe the key? Why not? 
more stamps more different stamps obviously some of the stamps they doesn't want to stay on big and good little key Okay, so then I'm going to do some more stamping and this is how they look like now, look, they look cool already. You can do how much stamping you like and this is how the effects will be, so easy peasy, easy if you know how to do it. I'm gonna show you the end result whenever I'm gonna finish so as I said and th this is what you do and then just let it dry if you want to seal it just put Mod Podge on it and if you use the the ink that won't smudge or smear on any surface then you will be able to you will be able to um, just use Mod Podge to seal it or maybe you can have a like kind of varnish in spray or something you know then try to use it to be honest i've been using even on my shoes watercolors and they they did look cool they was really amazing and i really love them i've been wearing them shoes continuously for about a year till they they got really bad condition and then i had to from the throw them away so you can also do the shoelaces if you like you can stamp on the shoelaces you can color them you can do whatever you like so this is how my shoe look like already. I might leave it. I might add a little bit more. I will see. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will just catch you up with the end result when I'm going to have both of them done. See you in a bit. So I've got the second shoes done. The second shoe, obviously, it's not taking very long once you know how to do it. It's just really very quick easy project they are a bit different but they have exactly the same pattern they have the same paint they have the same bits and bobs so this is why we want to have shoes like this isn't it i love them so obviously you just need to put the shoelaces back as i said uh, uh you can paint them you can um i might wait till i have a dry paint because I might color them, but doesn't matter for me either way, uh, it's okay. So you have your perfect, beautiful, unusual shoes done in a few minutes. I'm not sure if that took only half an hour, maybe to do both of them. So if you're gonna use Mod Podge or anything else, obviously it will take longer because that needs to be dry before you're gonna apply anything. And obviously you can do some flowers. You can put flowers um, on them. You can put whatever you like. I like uh, Fomiran flowers. I've been making them. Uh, maybe you can use like metal embellishments. You can use whatever you want actually to put some more interest into your shoes um yeah use whatever you've got something that is not gonna hurt your legs obviously <laughs> but it's gonna look cool so on the previous one i had the foam mirror flower so you can put uh, the foam mirror flower and what i use for it is i'm gonna show you in a minute is them and then I stick the Fomiran flower on it, so I pin it, and then I pin over here. Or you can put only them as an embellishment. Who said we can't do it? So let's say I have a little bit of thread over here. Come on. Look. That looks cool as well. I like it. You know maybe one maybe two maybe few put whatever you like all around your shoe and then everything is nice and and yours okay i hope you enjoy it 
please give it thumbs up if you like it if you want me to make some more give me shout i can do them i have loads of the shoes that um, they are just plain so i don't mind to do it um just comment like it and subscribe to my channel obviously i've got a, a youtube channel as well over there you can find some um scrapbooking bits and bobs that i've been making um quiet a bit time ago because <laughs> i had not not enough time um in the meantime anyway so but there's still projects and things going all around my head and i will record something and then i will put uh, on my channel there is some of them in polish language some of them in english language so you can have a look you are very welcome to to comment and let me know what you think okay i hope you have a beautiful day and i hope to chat to you soon bye